Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chantia. I pray that you all are doing well. Um, I wanted to just hop on here and just release a word of encouragement in regard to um, kingdom marriage. The Lord um, like literally placed this song like in my spirit and it's been in there like for the past, I want to say maybe three days and I haven't even been listening to it. So yeah, and um, he confirmed it and it will not leave me until I release it. And so I needed to hop on here and just share it with someone so that you are encouraged in regard to how your kingdom spouse is um, feeling in this moment. Again, as I always say, please take this um, prophetic word back to the Lord, um, because again, we're all in different seasons. Take it back to the Lord. He will confirm. And um, again, this word would be a confirmation to you of what the Lord has already been speaking to you. And so this song is by Jahim and it's called Anything. Um, and it's really, really a beautiful love story um, that unfolds through this li these lyrics. And so literally um, when, when God placed a song in my spirit, um, I looked up the lyrics and I was like, OK, all right. And then um, I clicked off of the screen, you know, out of Google. And then I was like, let me just do some devotion time. And I open up my devotion and literally the devotion is talking about giving of yourself to an individual, giving of yourself to the Lord and um, vice versa, the Lord giving of himself to us. And then I knew it was God confirming for me to release this. And so this song, I'm going to read you the lyrics so you can see um, the comparison. And so, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, the words go, you can have anything I got all of me right on the spot. And then the, the second portion, it'll say, you can have anything I own, work my fingers all the way to the bone. And I want to just stop here because, um, God is cleaning up your sp the, the spouse that you know was considered a prodigal they ran off and you know did their own thing and he's even up cleaning cleaning both spouses up um but in particular this is insight on the spouse that's considered the prodigal and so they are going to come back just stating and making it very clear that you can have anything i own you can have anything that i have in my grasp you can have all of me. You can have all of my heart this time around. I know that I may have been, you know, shady in the past. And I know I may have withheld from you in the past because I had trust issues. My heart was broken and I had things happen to me and I experienced things, you know, where I put my guard up. I put walls up and I wouldn't let anyone in. But now since I've been healed and I've given my life to Christ and I've really been, you know, working, allowing the, the Lord to work on me. I'm in a better place and I, I want you and I want you in that place with me. I want you in that place of healing with me. And they're just, they're going to let you know that you can have all of me now. You can have all of my heart. You can have all of my time. You can have all of my commitment. You can have all of me, anything that I own. And I'm also willing to put in the work. It says, thank you, Holy Spirit, work my fingers all the way to the bone. I'm all in this time around. I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to wait on you. I'm willing to be patient because um, maybe they did some things in the past that that hurt you. And God has been dealing with you to, to release those things to him um, because it's not we wrestle not against flesh and blood. OK, we, we wrestle against spiritual wickedness and principality. So it's the enemy that's been trying to cause division between these two kingdom spouses and I'm um, just completely just destroying the kingdom marriage. But what God has put together, let no man put asunder. OK. Um, if God has brought you two together, squash the beef, put those things to the side so that you're able to receive your kingdom spouse with love, just as um, the father received his prodigal, you know, back with love. OK, when the when the prodigal returned, he didn't throw things in, his, in um, the prodigal's face. He was literally just waiting for the prodigal to return. And so that's how the father wants us to receive these prodigals back. OK, OK. And then the verse says, now, baby, I don't want to be fictitious and that's like you know innocence just making up stories just fake innocence um and then it says saying i can get you anything is ridiculous but anything you ask that's anywhere near my grasp 
is yours, okay? No, I don't got fancy cars or diamond rings. Lord knows I will if I make it with this singing thing. Hold on, have faith in me, because anything I have is yours, babe. Okay, these kingdom spouses, they need us to have faith in them, okay? They've gone through a lot as we have, and we need to be understanding of that. But they're saying, I may not have a lot, you know, um, I may not have the fancy cars. I may not have the the big home. I may not have the career that you want me to, to have. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of us need to drop the list, okay? And you know what I mean when I say the list, okay? The list of he has to have this. She has to look like this. They have to be there. They have to be at this highlight in their life. Like that is so superficial. Like drop the list. Drop it. Because my list would have had me missing my kingdom spouse. Like my list, God is so, God is so beautiful that he knows what we need before we even realize what we need. And so do not miss your blessing because you are so stuck to a list. God will send the qualities that you need in a man, the qualities that you want in a woman, but you will be so stuck on your list that you won't even recognize when God has sent what you need. This word is for someone. Drop the list and trust God completely. Drop the list and trust God com completely. Okay, so have faith in your kingdom spouse. Be patient with them again and just be willing to just love on them. Don't try to change them. Let God do that because, child, we could even change ourselves. We needed the Lord Jesus Christ to do that. Okay, so let's not be hard on ourselves and let's not make it hard for them. Um, the next portion of this song, it goes down to say, girl, I know you want I know you want roll Alexis, Alexis with a mansion down in Texas. It's more like apartment eight. Cellular is prepaid, but baby is all okay. Okay, so um, in this portion, it's literally just saying, I know this is what you want. I know you want a Lexus. I know you want a mansion down in Texas. But for us right now, it's looking like more like a, an apartment. It's looking like, um, you know, a prepaid cell phone, okay? The baby is still okay because at the end of the day, as long as I got you, as long as you got me, like, we are good. Now, mind you, like, this is a kingdom marriage. So the provision is already wrapped up in this marriage, okay? Because God's blessing is on it. So don't worry about the material things. Like, God got y'all, okay? And these kingdom... Thank you, Holy Spirit. These kingdom marriages that God is bringing together are, like, they are funded by heaven. And what I mean by that is literally there are income, there are streams, multiple streams of, oh my God, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There are multiple streams of income. Yes, God. Multiple streams of wealth that are coming to these, king, coming through these kingdom marriages. Um, they are generational curse breakers, generation, excuse me, generational wealth carriers. Um, and a, for a lot of you, a lot of us, God specifically moved us from our um, upbringing. And what I mean by that, you are moved from um, where you grew up. You may have been moved from where your family stays. And it's simply because God has different for you, okay? And it's nothing against your family, nothing against your, your upbringing. But when God plants you, when he heals you from something, he can't allow you to stay in the same vicinity, okay? And so he uprooted you and put you in a new place because you now have a new mindset, you have new behaviors, you have new ways of doing things, new responses. And so you can't afford to be tainted with how you were brought up, okay? And it's called growth, Okay. It's growth. Just leave it at that. It is growth. Okay. And so God um, is sending your kingdom spouse to you or may not look how you thought it would look first, but there's more to meet the eye. Okay. So don't just go off of your physical sight because how you see them now, child, child, just wait until God exposes who they really are. Honey. How you see your kingdom spouse now, they may just look ordinary, but Jesus also looked ordinary in the earth. But child, when he started turning water into wine, casting out devils, healing the sick, raising the dead, 
I bet you they, <laughs> I bet you they uh was like, yeah, he ain't normal, okay? So don't look at your kingdom spouse as, yeah, they're just normal. They're just, you know, another, no. God is not about to link you with no normal spouse, okay? You're not normal. You do the supernatural. You believe your faith is on in a whole new realm. What you do, how you're gifted, how you're anointed, your 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 kingdom spouse is the same way, okay? So although they may not look like it now or they may not be walking in it now, trust and believe that God is not going to just link you with any and everybody. Your kingdom spouse carries the same anointing. So be patient with them and let God transform them and 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 process things in their lives and and grow them just as he grew you and still is growing you, okay? And so it says, uh, I can't do all these things I want to do, but I can love you and I can stay true. I'll give you my last dime, spend all my time. It's yours, whatever is mine, anything you want. Again, so they're professing their love to you, um, just stating, I can't do all these things that I want to do for you. But what I can do, I can love you. I can stay true to you. I can stay faithful to you. I can be there for you when you need a, a shoulder to cry on, when you need someone to celebrate with you, when you need someone to pray with you, when you need someone to fast with you. Um, I can just be there when you need someone just to vent to. I can be there. It's yours. Whatever is mine is yours. Anything you want, I will give my last dime for you. I will give my last bite of food for you. Okay, here. <laughs> I will spend all of my time with you, okay? I will sit and talk to you for hours, okay? Come on, song. <laughs> I will sit and talk to you for hours. And we don't even have to talk about anything extreme. I just want to be on the phone with you. I just want to hear your voice. There's something about you that literally just changes my day it lights up my you know my heart it puts a smile on my face okay so these kingdom spouses are excited about being united with you okay and so it goes on to say um let's go down here to the last portion it says now i don't have excuse me now i don't have no ls to drive but i'm a man with a whole lot of plans and a lot of love inside just believe and pray hold on to me and say and stay. I can't handle you leaving me. Just dream, dream. I'll work overtime anytime just to give you peace of mind. Please just believe everything and anything. All of me, baby. Okay. So they are again, letting us know. Okay. That they just need us to believe in them. They just need us to pray and hold on to them. And they are willing to love. They are willing to love. Now that the ball is in our court to receive that love. Okay, God has been really stressing to me over the weekend to lean into love. I know that the wait has been so long and maybe you've lost like your excitement on it, but God is like, no, I. this is not the time to lose your excitement. This is not the time to get off track. Yes, I want you to live your life, but I also want you to remember that this promise is at hand, okay? And so it's very important for us not to shut out this kingdom marriage um, because of, you know, what we're feeling. Okay. And so anytime that you're feeling, you know, doubt, or you're feeling like maybe the promise isn't for me, or maybe the promise isn't now I need us. The Holy spirit is asking us to process those emotions quickly through God. Don't hang on to them. Don't um, go to sleep in them. Like literally process them through the Holy father, because a lot of times, um, and I, I found this out as I continue to grow in the Lord, a lot of times what we are feeling is not even from us. The enemy tries to sin just as he sins, you know, lies, like he'll try to plant false emotions within us. So you'll be good. And then out of nowhere, a, a thought from the past will trigger you about your kingdom spouse and you'll become angry with them. You'll be irritated with them. You'll just start speaking goofy stuff and start thinking wild stuff about them and cursing your kingdom marriage. Again, the enemy is a planter, okay? He wants to kill, steal, and destroy. So he will plant, if you allow him, these thoughts and these emotions in you. Uh, but I need you to quickly process these through the Lord and how you do that. Um, just for example, how I do that, I literally tell God what I'm feeling, literally, whether I vocalize it or whether I write it down, 
journal it, whatever it is, I have to quickly process it through God. Lord, this is what I'm feeling. Like, why am I feeling this way? God, I need you to remove this from me. And then I pair it with, you know, a scripture. Okay. If God has set you free from something that um, occurred in the past between you and your spouse, then the word of God says that he whom the son sets free is truly free. You are free indeed. So God already sets you free. God doesn't have to redo anything, okay? Jesus didn't have to re-die on the cross. No, when Jesus does something, it's a done deal. It's sealed. And so um, when God has set you free from a past trauma or a past experience, like it should not be trying to come back up. And if it is, just know that that's the enemy trying to put condemnation and, and trying to bring all this stuff that's already underneath the blood back into like, you got to bind and rebuke these things and you got to cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares that much for you. Okay. Jesus Christ cares so much for us that he does not want us to care about our own cares. Yes, he wants us to be aware of what we're feeling, aware of what we're going through, but he does not want us to, to hold on to those things. He wants us to quickly present them to him, give them to him, cast them to him, because that's his job as our father is to take on our problems, to take on our concerns, to take on our anxieties, to take on, to take on, you know, all of our fears, our doubts, our worries. That is God's job, not ours. Okay. And so whoever that word was for, I pray that you receive it. Um, please, please, please be encouraged that these kingdom spouses are excited to unite with you. Okay. They are so excited and they are looking forward to it. You, we, you and I, we just have to remain prayerful and to remain in a posture of receiving them. And again, I, I'm really stressing because the Lord was stressing to me this weekend to lean into love. Give love another chance. I promise you this time around is going to work. My God, my God, my God. For those that are doubting that, uh, I don't know if it's going to work out this time because it haven't, hasn't worked out in the past. And trust me, I've been there. But Holy Spirit is like, it didn't work out in the past because I wasn't in it. I was not in it. But this time, I am bringing this back together. I am in it and I am moving through you and I'm moving through your kingdom spouse. So this is a God thing this time. Okay. So don't block the God thing. Okay. That is about to occur in your life. Do not block the God thing that is about to hit your life. Okay. Because this love is going to renew you. It's going to refresh you. It's going to rejuvenate you. It's going to completely um, just bring joy to your life that you've been needing for so long. It's going to uplift you and it's going to empower and encourage you. Okay. So be be encouraged, okay? God has not forgotten about you. You are still on his heart. You are still on his mind. So while you are living your life, um, not, you know, obsessing over the marriage itself, because we want to be careful that we don't idolize kingdom marriage, uh, but God just wants us to know how our kingdom spouse is feeling, okay? They are literally saying, like, he can have anything. He can have all of me. Um, whatever I have, I will give to them because that's how much... I love them. That's how much I need them in my life. Okay. 